Hey everybody, uh, Ken Cuccinelli is the acting director of immigration for President Trump. He made a comment to NBR, NPR, National Public Radio, regarding immigrants that Jeffrey Tubin here calls un-American, and we agree. Listen. Here's NPR earlier today. Would you also agree that Emma Lazarus's words etched on the Statue of Liberty, give me your tired, your poor, are also part of the American ethos? Uh, they certainly are. Give me your tired and your poor who can stand on their own two feet and who will not become a public charge. What, what's your response to those words, Ian? It, it's hard to define un-American, but that statement was un-American. And I say this as people, as, as the descendants of 100 years ago, people who came to this country uh, looking for opportunity and, and found it. That's why people have come here. You know, they don't want to be public charges, but they come here and they work hard, and a lot of them work in terrible jobs for low pay, and sometimes they need food stamps to eat, you know, to, to feed their families. That's who, um, th that's who's going to be penalized. The, not the people who hire the illegal immigrants, who are, you know, they always get away under the Trump administration, but the people who are working hard and trying to support their families, they're the ones who are published by this, and it is just a disgrace that that is the prevailing ethos of our administration. Is the administration April standing by Ken Cuccinelli's remarks? Oh, this president is embracing the new talking points by Ken Cuccinelli. Uh, Wolf, I talked to uh, the head of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Joaquin Castro, and he said, look, at one point this was about illegals. Now it's about legals. This is about the browning of America. They can parse words, say whatever they want. This is about stopping the browning of America. But also, if we're looking at this, this new talking point that they're, they're, they're using, when you talk about uh, the charge that, that they have uh, on this nation, who is the poorest in America? What area is the poorest in America? It's Appalachia. Who is Appalachia? White America. What do you think? Well, I, I mean, I, I think there is no doubt that Cuccinelli's version is a totally perverse version of what is actually intended uh, in what is on the Statue of Liberty. And I, and I, and I think that uh, there is little doubt. Uh, this, is not, this is not new for this administration. The, putting the target on legal immigration, not just illegal immigration, on legal immigration has been something that President Trump made very clear early on was going to be a mission of his, as well as trying to deal with illegal immigrants. What are you hearing, Arlette, from the, uh, out there on the campaign trail? Well, we're still waiting to hear like what further reaction we will be getting. I believe that there might have been a statement released a short while ago, but people on the campaign trail have often been critical of the White House and, and President Trump's approach to immigration. So this surprisingly uh, probably will not sit well with those Democratic candidates. So folks, that is the latest, but um, as you can see, the Trump administration is insisting on dividing America by this constant focus on it, immigration and using their initiatives, putting them out into the media and then flooding it with uh, the country with these awful, and as you heard Jeffrey Tubin say, un-American ideas.